Alrighty then, everyone. Welcome to Let's Play Moe Reich. And this is not a Soviet Let's Play. If I have, if I've made the thumbnail correctly, you should know who we're playing as. But I'll just say it: we're playing as the Pacific States of America. Another first for me. And well, I'll probably fail, or I'll succeed and march west and reach march east and restore democracy. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. But pretty much we're going to be playing until the event, the event happens. And well. Yep. So without further ado, let's go. God save America. As the U.S. We might as well do what few things we can. Research, because well... Now, I'll also get these things, and it'll just save me time. Which is always good. Because who doesn't like saving time? All in. Mm -hmm. Send all you guys to Washington to save that, and well. Be cheeky. I need these. And well, hmm. yeah. Don't produce any planes. He's been crowned king like usual. <laughs> Again, these first couple months will always go the same. Ain't no change in it. But I'll try to make it as entertaining as possible. Just as well, we have a bunch of fuel. So, yeah. Alrighty then. Let's force them to compromise with the SPA. Cause yep, <clears throat> I really do not want to do that. To have to deal with all this. Alrighty then, we have done what we can. Because well, yep, my God. <laughs> because yep. This is happening. Electoral gridlock in France, like usual. <laughs> Cold listen with this debase our democratic system. Why would we want to do that? So, yep, and I mean, a lot of things can happen. I mean, I know Canada usually supports the PSA if they rise. So, let's just hope that happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause that will just help me. And, well, yeah. Right now, we're just playing a waiting game. Oh wow, it passed. Well then, let's go. I mean, this is better if, you know, you're playing as a democratic US, but mm, it'll just make the fall seem harsher. Eh, hate what he says, but I defend his right to say it.
And again, I was hoping that the bill would fail. Hmm. I'm actually tempted to... You know, yeah. And this has gone from a PSA Let's Play to a Democratic USA Let's Play. Um, we must help the people. Yep. I'll record the PSA up one later on tonight, so, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, looks like we're playing as Democratic USA, which means, eh, well, yeah, I'm still keep these people over here. Helps. Yeah, yeah. That's our factory base, right there. Huh. No, oh, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can imagine that who would make the assemblies in compromise with the SPA. Ugh. This is really bad. <laughs> yeah, do that. Demand debt repayments. Who shall win the cup? We shall see. And we won. Hoorah! So, yep, looks like I'm designing a new thumbnail tonight, but eh, that shouldn't be too hard. So, yeah. We are just going with the flow. Yep. Alrighty then. No. Go back to doing that. Alrighty then, um... Interesting Democratic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what else? You know what? Yeah. Fuel storage. Mm -hmm. Not the police were kind of heavy handed. So let's do that. Let us intervene. And the Monroe Doctrine stands. Now then. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Be best. Get as many convoys as I can. Ooh, something in the water? Hmm. Okay, then. Keeping tariffs. The Platt Amendment, which governed Cuban-American trade, yada yada yada, we just not well if you want to. Cuba is required to levy substantial tariffs against non-American products. This Cubans argue has caused... Hmm. Hmm. Not... They must respect the treaty. Oh, 
Arthur Horner. Hmm. Stop right there, criminal scum. Is he the, um... Yeah, he's the Federalist, which means, um... Yeah, he goes down evolution. Alrighty then. So be it. New industrial act. I already miss him. Poland falls to the Cindy's. Hmm. Let's get some construct. What devious common. And well, yep. Coup d'etat. So, yep. We are legitimately just waiting. And now well, let's go. Oh. So we got Syndicalist here, Totalist here, and Syndicalist here. This international might stand a chance against Reich's pop. Hmm. I mean, I, unfortunately, I can't go down rebuilding the Monroe Doctrine anymore because, well, they locked that off to authoritarian, not socialist. Huh. Yeah, hmm. It's either I'm gonna go down Fortress America or into the fray. Mm hmm. Either way. And oh, they went down military junta. Which, I believe it's only through the synarchists that they, you know, can screw me over. And let me make sure the new industrial act. What? Promote the building of new industry in Tennessee. Now, let's reconcile with Canada. No, smart move. Do that. Let's hope it's not needed. That's all that we can hope. That it is not needed. Bam. Reconcile with Canada. Oh yeah, I was gonna go down Mexico. Unless it's a decision. I mean... Ugh. I just hope they don't try to do that. Cause that would kind of screw me over. Hmm. And I really don't want that to happen. So yeah. So okay, so... The Junta's in charge in Mexico. Canada's being Canada. Alrighty then. Looks like we probably aren't gonna be able to deal with the depression, unfortunately. That's mainly because I accidentally pressed that and I shouldn't have. Wait a minute. 
Actually, I might be able to, because, yeah. After this, I don't have to do that. So, yeah, looks like we are dealing with depression. I wonder what that'll do for us. And this will hurt us more than... This will, this will hurt the Unionists more than it hurts us. So, okay, then. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. Canada refuses a compromise. Canadian government refuses our offer of compromise, leading to economic sanctions applied by both sides. The chance of this escalating into war is slight, but the damage is none. We'll have to be satisfied with the gains we've made and the increased revenue from the tariffs. Take what we can get. It's all we can do. Alright, and well, hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste any political power doing that because I'm just gonna get new. I'm just gonna get new things, anyways. Hmm. I'm getting new. The low popularum, high popularum thing. It's a nice speed spit. If, I really pause if you want to read that, but yeah. At least the heat waves over. Cool. I'll be done. Oh yeah, I was gonna do this. Cause I don't know. Forget what generals leave, so frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Jabal Samar, you kept nothing, so you're kind of screwed. And well, yep. And I'm going to just do this in the CSA, because... Representatives retiring. Because, yeah, me doing that kind of screwed it over. But yeah, hmm. this is happening. Hmm. You know what? I'll spare what I can. Sorry about that, viewers. You know, because I don't know how to cut it out. Well, you can have fun with that. Okay, there's that. Um, fuel refining, I guess. I don't know. Um, hmm. And field hospitals. Because, yeah, we are going to be kind of short on manpower. No. Yep. Give the contract to the CSA to New York. Alright then now what can I do? Is it nothing? This is just another year. Uh, no. I can go down to the US Navy. Okay. And you know what, um hmm. Actually, what's what's the world doing? Oh, I need to... Ooh. Mexico has joined the Entente. And they've kept the Junta. <sighs> Again, is it only Synarchists that can, you know, screw me over? I hope it's just the Synarchists. Please let this be the Synarchists. Kissed. 
Oh, wait. No. Yeah, only the socialists can intervene, I think. Okay. Oh, wow, they deserve us to that. Huh. Excavation 1, so I'm getting a lot more materials for my bang. Okay. Construction 2. Well, this stabilizer Argentina. <laughs> Probably not. And in a surprise victory, Alf Landon has assumed the presidency. Alf Landon elected president of the USA. With Herbert Hoover putting his complete trust in former oil lobbyist and Senator Alf Land in, in fixing the United States, Alf gracefully sisly accepted an inauguration that just fraught with both socialists and longest rebels. Landon promised America that she would retain her status as a world economic power and symbol of a liberal democracy at any cost. Landon's supporter base comes from the struggle of the middle class, um, middle class Americans and the extensive Republican allies that have been in power for the decades in the United States. Although from the crowd, both socialists and longest long call him a tool for bus business, but, yeah, bowed in further division in the United States. We'll see what happens. And I think I have to wait till for the, um, yeah, I have to wait for Inauguration Day. The SBA contest it. Of course they do. So do they. Huh. But, yeah. Fleet carrier plan. Oh, anchovies in charge. Awesome. Norway has joined the international. <laughs> About to say this is going to be a really powerful entente. President Hoover supports the new president. Support is greatly appreciated. It should always be. Okay, then. Do I... Not, yeah. Train up one more division. You know, now that I got this, let's go. Hmm. Slightly faster research speed does sound nice. Of course, not Liberia. But yeah, of course we will help. Uh, 
This is interesting though. Hmm. You know what? I have another idea for a game. Columbia. I do actually want to do that. I'll try to form Grand Columbia. But that will have to come later, of course. Okay, then. So, like even Triple Tania has a focus streaming. Not much of one. But this is where I like the Kaiserreich mod. It does have a fair bit of work. It does have a lot of work and love put into it. Transmere. Well, I'm just over here is Democratic USA. Trying to survive. Because we must. And we will. Because without us, America will fall. You know what? Yes. Now it's time to start legislating freedoms. Ireland. The yeah, Evan. Lord has been created. I still love the fact that technically the king is in charge. Huh. Yeah, they would have to do that. gonna cause a problem. No shit. Sling. Never. Should have known. I mean, but, mm, yeah. Eh. Now to just wait to be ignore inaugurated. That's all we have to do. And after that, well, <laughs> we are good. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end this right when the uh, factions split off. And not when the Civil War begins, just that way I have time, I have more time to get genuine reactions. And well, because I feel like it. Alright, so I just have to wait until the... 
And it's had rain until the 21st. Ready to move. Anyway, now that's a bit stronger. Not by much. It's a bit. And that's all we need. That's all we need. All in. Yeah, nah. And of course, well, Mongolia is being Mongolia. I mean, he's the con of cons. <laughs> I'm actually tempted. I always wanted to do that. To do that. That is German synthesizers. I you know. Yep. I mean, this is a world right now. Brazil went social democratic. Of course, Argentina and Pentagonia are preparing for shit. They're preparing. India's India. Paul's just up there. I mean, the world's going pretty much like it always does. Prince George. Wow, Jabal Samar is actually fighting back. I'm actually half tempted. Go over there and I need to stop land leasing you. You lost the war. You don't deserve it anymore. Help. These guys actually have a slight chance of winning. They deserve my support. Well, the days just click on until everything happens. Please just march a little bit down south. It'll help so much. But yeah, huh. Yeah, everything's going like I thought it would. I treasure our American democracy. Do that. Okay, Landon proposes intervention. In response to the ongoing crisis, President Landon has proposed a bill to begin a series of economic intervention policies. The bill will create insurance for bank deposits and treasury approved banks that will not engage in risky investing. The bill also allows the federal government, government to create a commission to monitor stock market exchanges against fraud. Landon believes that this will restore confidence in the market, creating jobs from one end of the country to the other. Both the SPA and AFP have declared opposition to the for not going far enough and for being too friendly to the very business that caused the depression in the first place. It will take some cooperation between Republicans and Democrats to overcome this united front of radicalism in Congress. This bill will not stop for them. And well, like I thought, Ned's just... Did that. Hmm. 
Yep. Oh, you know, this is going on. There we are. Reed calls Landon corrupt. Alf Landon's election material made him out to be a self-made man. An entrepreneur who made his wealth starting from a small petroleum company. Landon's relationship with the oil industry culminated in the establishment of the United States Oil and Gas Association in his home state of Kansas, which freely associates with Standard Oil. To read in the SBA, this is a smoking gun that Landon is a class traitor. Though to many of these accusations have rang hollow, cited Landon as a man with the business connections to make the intervention bill stick. I started from nothing, Reed. Just like you. Yep. And well, hmm. Man, I'm just producing rifles. <laughs> Denmark hath joined the Reich's pocked. And Iceland is up there. The French Republic is also a fun game. Oh well. They changed this. It used to be like the fastest bird and then another fastest bird and then Huey Long calls Landon a monopolist. Huey Long has responded, like Reed, by dec decrying Landon as a corrupt politician in Standard Oil's pocket. Huey Long recently spoke about how President Landon only cared about the for the rich and the monopolies that opposed true Americans. Articulating criticism of Long Landon's fiscal conservatism during his tenure as governor of Kansas, Huey Long has also made sure to remind the people that, by all rights, he should be he should be president and he should have fixed the crisis already. President Landon meanwhile responded in a recent interview with newspaper that Long had a serious case of sour grapes. And political cartoonists have be have begun depicting Long as a childish baboon, much to the public's amusement and Long's outrage. I am not a Rockefeller, you fool. The New Deal bill, bill passes. The Economic Intervention Bill has managed to pass through Congress and has been signed into law by President Landon. Banks are immediately ushered into silence as they reorganize before receiving Treasury approval. The Commission has begun to draft reforms to stock trading that will hopefully restore confidence in the markets. It is hard to say right away if this will solve the problem, but Landon hopes that this can be the first step to fix the economy. Which all moderates can agree on. We are finally awake to change. Hmm. I'm not gonna do anything else because I know what's about to kick off decently soon. Hmm. See, I don't know who's going to... Again, I don't know who leaves me, so I'm not going to waste political power. Because this stuff is kind of important. Okay, general strike spreads. The SBA's general strike has spread far and wide after a call by Jack Reed to demonstrate against the recently passed intervention bill, all but bringing the nation to a standstill.
Democrats close ranks. With many Democratic senators, while many Democratic senators are leaders supporting the bill which has such vociferous opposition by the SP and the AFP, especially considering their influence in America has gone far beyond the number of seats they hold in Congress, they have they responded poorly to the personal attacks on the president by Long and Reed. Despite inter internal opposition for interfering with the market, Democrats having doubted that they will support the president's bill. That's a solidarity I like. <laughs> and I was hoping that, so that, you know, it would make sense, but now that it passed, a, no, a Republican or a Democrat would have, you know, could have had a decent chance of winning. I mean, not big of one, but a chance. So, yeah. What are you guys doing? You're abandoning unions. What? Ignore Long and Read. Cause yeah, I don't want to save scum. No, cause I don't want make Arthur to coo. That's another let's play. Which is probably going to be a very short one, because MacArthur's coup is very hard to play with. Because... The Great St. Louis Riot. So... Oh, I... No, no. This is gonna be the let's play. Stand by the Republic. Nope, do that. And do this. Oh, my question is, where is the SPA? Shouldn't they have arisen by now? There we are. Alrighty then. Yes, sir.
Attention! And alrighty viewers, with this, we leave you off. I have been your glorious host, Makoto Yuki. And well, we will continue this another day. Thank you. And good. And goodbye.